All right, we're gonna inhale by the nose and exhale out of the mouth. Remember that inhaling and exhaling is always through your throat. Please breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, and as slowly as possible. Breathe in by your nose, breathe out of your mouth, but all the time through your throat. Your nose and your mouth are only passageways. Feet together nicely, toes and heels touch each other. Interlock all 10 fingers. Bring your hands nicely underneath your chin, full grip. Always your hands touch your chin like glue. Nice, relax down on your shoulders. Swallow a couple times, look forward. Concentrate, meditate, and slowly begin to inhale. Keep your head down and start to bring your arms up. Start, please. Full lungs, exhale, head up. Push your head back, way, way, way back. Bring your elbows forward, touching each other away from your chest with your eyes open. Beautiful, inhale, head down, slowly. Look in the mirror, elbows up toward the ceiling as far as possible. Chest up, spine straight, stomach in. Exhale, head up, very slowly. Push your hands on your chin, eyes open. Look back until you see the wall behind you, elbows together, touching each other. Wait for me, please. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Inhale, head down, very slowly, use your throat, suck your stomach in, rib cage visible in the mirror. Look in the mirror, chin down, elbows up. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Now hips contracting, tightening up. Please don't close your eyes, wait for me. Inhale, head down. Each time, especially towards the end, try to inhale a little bit more than the last time. More and more and more and more. Exhale, head up. Push your hands on your chin. Your neck might hurt a little bit, just grip tight. 10 fingers, including your thumbs, interlock position. Wonderful. Inhale, head down. Slowly look in the mirror. Stomach is in. A depression of your abdominal wall. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eyes open. Inhale, head down. Don't close your eyes. You might get dizzy. Stomach is in. Opening your rib cage. Opening your lungs. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Take your time, everybody, that the slower that you go, the better you will do. More of your lungs you will use. Elbows together. Inhale, head down. Use your throat when you're inhaling. Full lungs, all the way up until you start to feel a little bit dizzy. Exhale, head up. Push your head back, way, way, way back. Bring those elbows forward, touching each other away from your chest as far as it goes. Two more, inhale, head down, stomach, stomach, stomach. Depression of your abdominal wall, contract your abdominal muscles, suck it in, tightening up, hold it. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Exhale all the air out, all the way out. The more that you exhale, the more fresh oxygen you will inhale on your next breath. Inhale, head down, keep your hips contracting, tightening up, push your hips a little bit more forward. Head down and elbows up. Exhale, head up, keep your weight on your heels, hips tight. Hips a little bit more forward, spine straight, grip tight, elbows together, and that's enough. Arms down by your side, stand still there. Shoulders relaxed, look straight forward, don't move. Welcome to everyone who joined us during the breathing. So good to see you, second set. Interlock your fingers, bring your hands nicely underneath your chin, full grip. Always your hands, they touch your chin like the glue. Nice and relaxed shoulders, swallow a couple times, and look forward. Concentrate, meditate, everybody together. Inhale, head down. Slowly bring your arms up and keep your chin down. Start to bring your elbows back and your chest up, spine straight, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Push your head back, way, way, way back. Bring your elbows forward. Keep looking back, touching each other away from your chest. Still looking back, eyes open. Good, inhale, head down slowly. Look in the mirror, elbows up toward the ceiling and a little bit back, chest up, spine straight. Go ahead and suck your stomach in. Exhale, head up, very slowly. Seriously, push your hands on your chin, eyes open. Look back until you see the wall behind you, elbows together, touching each other. Wait for me, please. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. One, two, three. Look back. Four, five, six. Hold it. Good, Esther. Inhale, head down very slowly. Use your throat. Suck your stomach in, rib cage visible in the mirror. Look in the mirror, head down, elbows up. 
Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Now hips contracting, tightening up, and please don't close your eyes. Wait for me, you've got it. Inhale, head down each time, especially towards the end when you're full. Try to inhale a little bit more than the last time. More and more and more and more. Exhale, head up. Push your hands on your chin. Neck might hurt a little bit, might not. Grip tight. 10 fingers, including your thumbs, webbing to webbing, interlock position. You got it. Inhale, head down very slowly. Look in the mirror. Come on, stomach is in, guys. A depression of your abdominal wall, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eyes are open. Inhale, head down. Don't close your eyes. You might get dizzy. Stomach is in. Opening your rib cage, opening up your lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Everybody take your time. The slower that you do is better. Elbows forward more, away from your chest, touching each other as far as it goes. Again, inhale, head down. Use your throat when you're inhaling, full lungs, all the way up until you feel dizzy. Good form crystal. Exhale, head up. Push your head back, way, way, way back. Bring those elbows forward, touching each other away from your chest as far as it goes. Two more. Inhale, head down. Stomach, stomach, stomach. Depression of your abdominal wall. Go deep. Contract your abdominal muscles. Suck it in. Tightening up and hold it. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Exhale all the air out, all the way out. The more that you exhale, the more fresh oxygen you'll inhale on your last breath. Inhale, head down. Keep your hips contracting. Tightening up. Push your hips a little bit more forward. Chin down and elbows up. Exhale, head up. Keep your weight on your heels. Hips tight. Hips a little bit more forward, spine straight, grip tight, elbows together, and that's enough. Arms down by your side, stand still there, shoulders relaxed, look straight forward, don't move. From now on, you're breathing in and out through the nose, practice your stillness between your postures. Let's begin. Arms over the head sideways, palms together. Please interlock all 10 fingers, release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Get a nice tight grip and please do not lose your grip. Hands, palms touching each other, light glue up to your wrist throughout the entire posture. Stretch up toward the ceiling, right and left several times, right and left, right and left, right and left. You should feel stretching down the both sides of your body all the way up through your fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. Right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. When you cannot stretch anymore, please stop in the middle. Half moon, elbows are locked. Arms with your ears. No gaps between your biceps, your arms, or your ears. Push your hips forward a little bit to open your hips and pelvis. Upper body leaning back a couple of inches, opening your chest and rib cage throughout the entire posture. Maximum body weight on your heels. Arms and head back, chin up, buttercup. Concentrate one point on yourself in the mirror. Don't even blink your eyes. Inhale, breathing, full lungs. Hold your breathing. Stretch up out of your waist one more time. Try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line. Slowly bend your body to your right without bending your elbows or your knees continuously. Push your hips to your left beyond your flexibility. Look straight forward. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, from bone to skin, fingertips to your toes. Look straight forward, hips more forward, upper body back more, weight on your heels. Push your left hip forward to keep your both hips in one line, right shoulder forward to open your chest, just like a flower petal blooming. Come down more and push and push and push. Inhale, come up please and stop in the middle. Take a deep breath, full lungs, stretch up out of your waist, an absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to your left without bending your elbows, your knees. Continuously push your hips to your right beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the right side of your body. Press elbows together over your head, all over stretching inside out. That's it, bone to skin, fingertips to your toes, hips more forward, upper body back more, weight on your heels, drop your tailbone, push your right hip forward to keep your both hips in one line, left shoulder forward to open up your chest, just like a flower petal blooming. Come down more and push, breathe and push and push. Inhale, come up and stop in the middle. Next is back bending. Everybody together, your back is gonna hurt. Don't be scared. Take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards from your coccyx to your neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Reach your arms. Total spine back bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backward. Maximum body weight on your heels. Inhale. Push your stomach, legs, and hips. Everything forward toward the front mirror. Arms back. Look back. Lean back. Fall back. Go back. Way back. More back. Inhale. Come up, please, and stop in the middle. Next is Padahastasana. Stomach in. Slowly bend forward from your lower spine toward the floor. When you touch the floor, move your hips several times. Right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Let's get your lower back 
totally relaxed, nice, loose, comfortable, easy, and flexible. This is a U-turn from backward bending to forward bending. So take it easy on your first set because your spine is not quite warmed up yet. Now remember, we're gonna say the same thing every class. It's like a mantra. This is something for you to hold on to in the mind so that you can concentrate inward, using your body, going way past the words, but also aware and alert to the words at the same time. Ready, bend your knees, grab your heels from behind, underneath your heels, thumb touch with your index fingers, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Little pinky fingers, they touch each other side by side, elbows behind your legs, on your calf throughout the entire posture. Please don't lose your grip. Pull on your heels and stretch your body down from your lower spine toward the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, your chest on your knees, face on your legs below your knees. From the side of your body, it looks like a Japanese ham sandwich. No gap anywhere. Pull on your heels and slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees, creating a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation all over underneath your legs, inside out bone to skin, cocks at your toes with your happy smiling faces. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Pull harder. Push your knees back. Lock your knees. Exhale, breathing. Lock your knees. Roll forward. Lock your knees. Eyes are open. Touch your face. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Last chance to lock your knees. Inhale. Come up, please. Arms and head together. Beautiful. Relax. Arms down by your side. Don't move. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Second set, arms overhead sideways, palms together. Interlock all 10 fingers. Release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Keep nice tight grip and please don't lose your grip. Hands, palms are together just like glue up to your wrist throughout the entire posture. Now take a deep breath, full lungs, stretch up out of your waist and absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to your right without bending your elbows or your knees continuously. Push your hips to your left beyond your flexibility. You gotta lean back more. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body all over inside out from bone to skin, Fingertips to your toes, inner thighs tight, hips more forward, upper body back more, weight on your heels. Push your left hip forward to keep your both hips in one line. Let's get that left armpit back, right shoulder forward to open up your chest. Yes, Michael, just like a flower petal blooming. Come down more, push and push. Inhale, come up, please stop in the middle. Take a deep breath, full lungs, stretch up out of your waist in absolutely straight line slowly. Bend your body to your left without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You've got it, Sean. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the right side of your body, all over, inside out, bone to skin, fingertips to your toes. Take the breath easy and soft. Hips forward, upper body back, and weight on your heels. Right hip forward to keep your both hips in one line. Look straight forward, left shoulder forward to open up your chest, just like a flower petal blooming. Press those elbows together over the head. Come down more, push. Inhale, come up, stop in the middle. Back bending, second set. It's like balancing stick backwards. Take a deep breath, full lungs. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Go for it, arms back immediately. Reach like it's balancing stick. Bend your spine backward bending from your coccyx to your neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine back bending. That's it, Lucas. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backward. Perfect, Melanie. Maximum body weight on your heels. Inhale, push your stomach, legs and hips. Glutes tight, everything pushes forward toward the front mirror. Are you breathing? Arms back, look back, lean back. Fall back, go back, way back, more back. Inhale, come up and stop in the middle. Next is Padastasana, stomach in, slowly bend forward from your lower spine toward the floor. When you touch the floor, move your hips several times, right and left, right and left, right and left. Shake your head out, yes and no. Do a couple double leg squats, you know what to do. Second set, your best one yet. Bend your knees, grab your heels from behind. Underneath your heels, thumb touching your index fingers, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Little pinkies touching side by side. Elbows more behind your legs on the calf throughout the entire posture and wrists closer together. Don't lose the grip. Pull on your heels, stretch your body down from your lower spine toward the floor. Keep your stomach on your thighs and chest on your knees, face on your legs below your knees. From the side, your body looks like a Japanese ham sandwich. There's no gap anywhere. Tailbone toward the ceiling, pull on your heels, slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees, creating a tremendous stretching feeling pain sensation all over underneath your legs, hamstrings upward, inside out, bone to skin, coccyx to your toes with your happy smiling faces. Roll forward more, continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching, pull harder. Push your knees back, lock your knees. Exhale breathing, lock your knees, roll forward, lock your knees. Eyes are open, touch your face and lock your knees, lock your knees. Last chance to lock your knees. Inhale, come up please, arms and head together. Relax, arms down by your sides, don't move. 
Awkward, Utkatasana. Please step your right foot to your right, six inches apart, heels invisible behind your toes. Feet, perfect letter H, six inch gap between your toes and heels. Don't change your feet throughout the entire posture. Arms up, please, parallel to the floor. Keep your five fingers together, touching each other, elbows locked. Triceps tight contraction, nothing loose, nothing hanging. Keep those fingers tight. Stretch your arms forward. You're trying to touch the front mirror. So if your stomach in, hold it in, please. Exhale, breathing. Sit down, feet flat position, all the way down until your hips touch the chair. Spine is straight to begin with. Tighten those fingers, slow-mo, 100% body weight on your heels. There you go, lift your chest. Bend your total spine, back bending. Bring your upper body back and suck your stomach in. Compression to your abdominal wall, contraction to your abdominal muscles. Suck it in, tightening up and hold it. Rib cage visible in the mirror. Open up your knees. Keep six inches between your toes, heels, knees, and hands. Chest up, chin up, lean back, fall back. You're trying to fall down backward. Inhale, come up, keep your arms right there. Concentrate, meditate, stand up on your toes, maximum, just like a ballerina. Tremendous concentration. Focus one point in the mirror. If you blink your eyes, you might lose your balance. Stretch your spine, head, chest, hold upper body toward the ceiling to create natural human traction. Imagine I'm pulling your head toward the ceiling. Sit down on top of your toes, spine straight position. From start to finish, you should feel your hips and your head touching the wall. Sit down halfway until your hips touch the chair. Knees up, chest up, upper body back. Nice, Esther, come up higher on your toes. Knees up toward the ceiling. Hips should not go below the chair. You're sitting in the chair. Inhale, come up please, spine straight position. Drop your heels down and keep your arms there. Come up a little bit on your toes and bring your knees together before we start. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, keep those ankles in. Spine straight, exhale, sit down, at least 10 counts in your mind, as slow as possible, all the way down. All the way down, continuously stretch your spine toward the ceiling, leaning against the wall. Half inch gap between your hip and heel, hips and head touching imaginary wall, no gap anywhere. Keep that length in the lower spine, please. Knees are together and forward toward the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to your legs, spine perfectly straight, 90 degrees angle. Good Karen, from the side, your body looks like a box. Take a deep breath, keep those knees together and slowly come up, spine straight position all the way up. Step your right foot back to your place, arms down by your side and relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Second set, please step your right foot to your right, six inch apart, heels invisible behind your toes. Feet look like a perfect letter H, six inches gap between toes and heels. Don't change your feet throughout the entire posture. Arms up please, parallel to the floor. Five fingers together, touching each other. Hands inside the shoulders, Fingertips below the collarbone. Everybody shift your body weight into your heels. Stretch your arms forward like you're trying to touch the front mirror. Stomach in, hold it in please. Exhale, sit down, feet flat position. All the way down into your hips, just a chair. Get your lowest rib forward. Spine straight to begin with. 100% body weight on your heels. Lift your chest, bend your total spine back bending. Bring your upper body back. Now sit down more. Compression to your abdominal wall. Contract into your abdominal muscles. Suck it in, tightening up. Hold it, rib cage visible in the mirror. Open up your knees. Keep six inches between your toes, heels, knees and hands. Chest up and chin up. Lean back. Back, fall back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, come up, please. Keep your arms right there. Concentrate, meditate, stand up on your toes, maximum like a ballerina. Tremendous concentration. That means one pointed focus. If you blink your eyes, hey, hey, you might lose the balance. Stretch your spine, head, chest, hold upper body toward the ceiling, creating natural human traction. Imagine I'm pulling your hair toward the ceiling. Sit down on top of your toes, spine straight position. From start to finish, you should feel hips and head touching imaginary wall. Sit down halfway into your hips, chest to chair. Knees up, chest up. Upper body back, spine straight. You got it, Ms. Bonner. Come up higher on your toes. Knees up toward the ceiling. Hips should not go below the chair. You're sitting in the chair. Inhale, come up, spine straight position. Drop your heels down and keep your arms right there. Come up a little bit on your toes. Bring your knees together before we start. Exhale, breathing, stomach in. Spine straight and shoulders down. Sit down at least 10 counts in your mind, as slow as possible all the way down. Hardest part is to relax your face. Continuously stretch your spine toward the ceiling. Leaning against the wall, half inch gap between your hip and heel. Hips and head are touching imaginary wall, no gap anywhere. Keep your knees together, inner thighs tight and forward toward the mirror, lower spine lifted. So thighs are parallel to the floor, arms parallel to your legs, spine perfectly straight, 90 degrees angle from the side, your body looks like a box. If your knees are healthy, go ahead and bounce a couple times like a motorcycle ride to demonstrate your control. Take a deep breath, keep your knees together and slowly come up. Spine straight position all the way up. You've got it, right foot back to your place, arms down by your side, totally relax. Next is Eagle, Garuasana. Look at your arms, identify which arm is right, which arm is left. Don't mix them up. Arms over your head, palms together. Please bring your right arm underneath your left arm. Cross your arms to each other, twist like ropes. Hands, palms together in front of your face. Thumbs towards you, pinkies toward the front mirror. If you cannot bring your hands, palms together, switch your crystal, you may interlace your fingers. Pull your elbows down toward the floor until your fingertips go below your nose. Fingertips should not go higher than your nose. Crystal, look at me. Turn the hands around and then cross the wrists. Suck your stomach in, sit down as low as possible until your hips touch the chair. Upper body's leaning back, stay down there, lift your right leg up as high as possible. Put your right foot underneath your left calf muscle. All five toes become visible in the front mirror. Sit down more and twist leg ropes. 
arch your upper body back. There's no gap anywhere between your ankle and your calf. Seriously, move your knees to the right and upper body to your left. Bring your feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If your foot is coming out, just sit down more. If you lose your balance, upper body back more. Stomach in, sit down more, pull your elbows down more. Upper body back at the end, change. Arms over the head, palms together. Bring your left arm underneath your right arm. Cross your arms to each other, twist like ropes. Do you ever get to this habit where you're like, I'm not gonna move the knees, they're fine. Pull your elbows down toward the floor until your fingertips go below your nose. The posture is active. Fingertips should not go higher than your nose. Suck your stomach in, sit down as low as possible. It makes, like, makes you feel like you're gonna fall over, hips in the chair. Upper body's leaning back, stay down there. Left leg lifts up as high as possible. Put your left foot underneath your right calf muscle. All five toes become visible in the front mirror. Sit down more, twist like ropes. And when you feel secure, start to move your knees to your left and upper body to your right. Bring your feet, knees, elbows, hands, every in one line in the front mirror. If your foot is coming out, just sit down more. If you lose the balance, upper body back more. Suck your stomach in and sit down more. Pull your elbows down more. Upper body back at the end. Change. Arms over the head, palms together. Second set immediately. Take your right arm underneath your left arm. Cross your arms, each other, twist like ropes. Hands, palms back together. Thumbs towards you, little pinkies toward the front mirror. If you cannot bring your hands, palms together, you may interlace your fingers. Pull your elbows down. Suck your stomach in and sit down as low as possible. Hips are in the chair. Let's bring that right shoulder back. Upper body leaning back, stay down there. Lift your right leg up as high as possible. The higher you lift your leg, the easier it will be to put your foot behind your calf muscle. When it wraps, slide the big toe down towards your mat, five toes visible in the mirror. Sit down, twist leg ropes, arch your upper body back, don't slump forward. Knees to the right, upper body to the left. Feet, knees, elbows, hands in one line. Sit down more, pull your elbows down more. Upper body back at the end. Change, arms over your head, palms together. Bring your left arm underneath your right arm. Cross your arms, each other, twist like ropes. Hands, palms together. Now we're working to bring that right shoulder back, thumbs towards your face, little pinkies toward the front mirror. Suck your stomach in, sit down as low as possible. Hips in the chair, upper body's leaning back. Stay down there, left leg lifts up as high as possible. Put your left foot underneath the right calf muscle. All five toes visible in the mirror. Sit down, twist like ropes, arch your upper body back. No gap anywhere between the ankle and the calf. Okay, here's your opportunity, knees to the left. Upper body to the right, feet, knees, elbows, hands in one line. Sit down more, that's it, keep going. Pull your elbows down more, that's it. Upper body back at the end, change. Arms over the head, palms together. Nice, Esther, relax. Arms down by your side. Party time. Grab some water. This is our first and only official water break. For some reason, like when we were in the studio, I didn't like people coming in late and so virtually people come in late. I'm so excited. I'm like, yay, you turned on your computer, woohoo. All right, come back to the center of the mat in a towel. One of my good friends who's a yoga teacher said to me one time, girl, you can come to my class at Rabbit. I thought that was the sweetest thing ever. All right, come back to the middle of the mat in a towel for the balancing concentration series, starting with Dandiyamana, Janu Sharasana, standing head to knee. Before you start, you got to gather your English bulldog determination, your willpower, and your Bengal tiger strength just to lock your knee. If you do 1% or you do 9% or 99%, as long as you try the correct way, you will receive 100% of the benefit. So please wipe off your hands, shift your maximum body weight to your left foot, lock your knee. Interlock your 10 fingers and pick up your right foot. Grab it in front of you, exactly three inches below your toes. Hold your foot with a tight grip and please do not lose the grip. From the start to the finish, throughout the entire posture, concentrate, meditate on your left knee in the front mirror to make sure it's locked to begin with. You don't have a knee. Your left leg, it's solid, concrete, one piece, lamppost, unbroken, absolutely no knee. If your left knee's locked, inhale. Slowly, gently, right leg lifts up and stretches forward toward the mirror. To bring your right leg exactly parallel to the floor, not higher or lower, left knee's locked. Take a deep breath. Continuously kick your right leg, heel forward toward the mirror so you can turn your right foot in from your ankle towards your face with all five toes turning in. If your standing leg is bending, your posture hasn't even started yet. Kick your heel out and flex your toes back. Try to lock both knees. From the side, your legs become a perfect upside down L, just like Linda. If both knees are locked and still, you can balance it comfortably, then only slowly start to bend your elbows down toward the floor. Your elbows will touch your calves. Eventually, your elbows will go below your calves. Change. Relax the right leg down and wipe off your hand. Shift your maximum body weight to the right foot, lock the right knee. Interlock your 10 fingers and pick up your left foot. Grab it in front of you, exactly three inches below your toes. Don't hesitate. Hold your foot tight grip. Do not lose your grip. This is purely mental. Look at the right knee in the front mirror. Think deeply about your knee. Don't move your eyes or blink your eyes. Your thighs contracted. Distribute your body's weight evenly on your right foot and don't let it roll to the side. There's nothing loose or hanging and your stomach is sucked in. Only if your right knee's locked. Inhale, left leg lifts up and stretches forward toward the mirror to bring your left leg exactly parallel to the floor, not higher or lower, right knee's locked. 
Take a deep breath. Continuously kick your left leg heel forward without stopping an eruption or intermission. You should feel a tremendous stretch underneath your leg. You've got to learn to flex your foot to stretch your Achilles tendon above your heel. All five toes are towards your face, eventually beyond perpendicular. Create a cramp on top of your thigh. Try to get both knees locked from the side. Your legs become a perfect upside down L like Linda. Then only slowly bend your elbows down toward the floor until your elbows touch your calves. Eventually, your elbows go below your calves. Change. Relax your left foot down. Put your both hands in your lower back and do the back bending for half a second. Remember that yoga is the mastery of the mind. So we're using the physical body as a vehicle to control the mind. So the way we get into the postures, the timing of getting into the posture, each action towards developing the posture is a psychological mental process. Wipe off your hand, shift your maximum body weight to your left foot, lock your left knee, interlock your 10 fingers and pick up your right foot, grab it in front of you exactly three inches below your toes. It's no accident. Hold your foot, nice tight grip. Do not lose your grip from start to finish throughout the entire posture. Concentrate, meditate on your left knee in the mirror to make sure it's absolutely locked to begin with. You don't have a knee. Your left leg is solid, concrete, one piece, your foot is light in your hand, absolutely no knee. If your left knee is locked, inhale slowly, right leg lifts up and stretches forward toward the mirror to bring right leg exactly parallel to the floor, not higher or lower, right knee locked. Take a deep breath continuously, kick your right leg, heel forward toward the mirror. How about right thigh forward toward the mirror so you can turn your right foot in from your ankle towards your face with all five toes turning in. If your standing leg is bending, push that grip forward, Esther. The posture hasn't started yet. Kick your heel out, flex your toes back, try to extend that right leg more, try to get both knees locked from the side. Your legs are perfect upside down, L like Linda. Then only slowly start to bend your elbows down toward the floor. Turn the wrist towards the floor. Elbows should touch your calves. Eventually, your elbows go below your calf. Still, if you can balance it with both knees locked. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Bring your head down. Slowly touch your forward exactly on your knee and hold it there. Change. Relax the right leg down. Wonderful job. Wipe off your hand. Shift your maximum body weight to the right foot. Lock the right knee. Interlock your 10 fingers. Pick up your left foot. Grab it in front of you. Exactly three inches below your toes. Hold your foot tight grip. Do not lose the grip. Think about the right knee. Think deeply about your knee. Focus, please. Don't move your eyes or blink your eyes. Thighs contracted. Distribute the body weight evenly on the right foot. How about more to the ball of your right foot? Don't let your weight roll to the side. Your thighs contracted. Your stomach is sucked in. There is nothing loose or hanging. If your right knee is locked, inhale slowly, gently, left leg lifts up and stretches forward toward the mirror to bring the left leg exactly parallel to the floor, not higher or lower. Right knee locked. Take a deep breath. Continuously kick your left leg heel forward. Push the grip forward. You've got to learn to flex your foot to stretch your Achilles tendon above your heel. All five tools towards your face, eventually beyond perpendicular, creating a cramp on top of your thigh. Good, Michelle. Try to get both knees locked from the side. Your legs are perfect upside down L like Linda. Then only slowly start to bend your elbows down toward the floor until your elbows touch your calves. Eventually your elbows, they go below your calf. Still, if you can balance it with both knees locked, go ahead, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, bring your head down and slowly touch your forward exactly on your knee. Change, relax the right leg down. Put your both hands in your lower back, do the back bending for half a second. Okay, next is standing bow pulling pose, Dandiyamana, Dhanur Asana. First set is a minute long, so take your time slowly, patiently, with determination. Please bring your right hand out, palm face the ceiling, elbow is touching with your body. Turn your hand to the right and repeat after me. Mama, give me some money. Don't turn your wrist and please don't drop the money. Slowly bring your right hand down, palm face up, pick up your right foot, hold from the inside of your right ankle. Keep all five fingers together. Please don't lose your grip. Stretch your left arm up. Chin close to your shoulder. Concentrate one point on your left knee in the front mirror. Please point the right toes. Make sure left knee is locked and your knees, they come together before you start. Inhale, charge your body forward toward the mirror and try to touch the mirror in front of you. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up toward the ceiling. Slowly bring your body down from your lower spine. Eventually, your abdomen and your chest become parallel to the floor. Just keep kicking the right leg back as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming over the top of your head in the mirror. Point your toes, both feet one line. Kick back, right shoulders behind your left. Invisible in the mirror, take a deep breath. Stretch your left hand fingertip toward the mirror and try to touch the mirror. Try to get your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blades gap stretches out of your body. In other words, your two shoulders are in one line. Line. Kicking and stretching is equal, simultaneous and 50-50. If you lose your balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more, stretch forward more. Go touch the mirror, kick harder. The harder you kick, you balance your forever. Body down, kick up one more time. Change, come on up. Good alignment, Karen. Take a deep breath. Great determination, slow-mo. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Remember that the more restraint that you practice in the first set, the more you're gonna get out of the second set. Tricky, tricky, left hand out, palm face the ceiling, elbows touching with the body. Turn your hand left, don't turn your wrist, don't drop the money. Slowly bring your left hand down, palm face up. Pick up your left foot, hold from the inside of your left ankle. All five fingers stay together, especially the thumb with the index finger. Don't lose the grip. Right arm up, chin close to your shoulder. 
Fingers tight, please. Concentrate one point on your right knee. Make sure it's locked throughout the posture. Your knees come together before you start. Not too much. Inhale, charge your body forward toward the mirror. Try to touch the mirror in front of you. Stabilize. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up toward the ceiling. Easy does it. Bring your body down from lower spine. Eventually, your abdomen and your chest become parallel to the floor. Keep kicking your left leg back as hard as possible. Your foot is coming over the top of your head in the mirror. Point your toes. The right knee's locked and both feet are in one line. Kick back. Left shoulder is behind your right, invisible in the mirror. Take a deep breath. Stretch your right hand finger tip toward the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Turn the head to the right crystal. Try to get your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blades gap that stretches out of your body. In other words, your two shoulders are in one line. Kicking and stretching is equal. Simultaneous. 50-50. Hold on. If you lose the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more. Stretch forward more. Go touch the mirror. Kick harder. The harder you kick, you balance your forever. Body down. Kick up one more time. Change. You got it. Feet back together. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. You ever heard that the most important moment of the posture is the last three seconds? Take a deep breath. All right, so now we're just gonna go for it. 30 seconds, go to your deepest point, kick, stretch, and breathe. Bring right hand out, palm face the ceiling, elbows touching with your body. Turn your hand to the right, don't turn your wrist or drop the money. Bring the right hand down, palm face up, pick up your right foot, hold from the inside of your right ankle. All five fingers together, don't lose a grip. Left arm up, chin close to your shoulder. Concentrate one point on your left knee in the mirror. Make sure left knee is locked. Knees come together before you start. Inhale, charge your body forward toward the mirror. Try to touch the mirror in front of you. Go, simultaneously kick your right leg back up toward the ceiling. Kick up, bring your body down from lower spine. Eventually your abdomen and your chest are parallel to the floor. Kick more of your right leg back as hard as possible. Point the toes toward the ceiling, both feet in one line. Right shoulders behind the left, invisible in the mirror. Take a deep breath, stretch your left hand fingertip toward the mirror. Try to touch the mirror, bring the body down more. Try to get your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blade scap is stretching out of your body. In other words, your two shoulders in one line. Change, come on up. Nice, Amber, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Bring the left hand out, palm face the ceiling, elbows touching with your body. Turn your hand to your left. Don't turn your wrist and don't drop the money. Bring your left hand down, palm face up, pick up your left foot. Hold from the inside of your left ankle. How's the breathing? All five fingers together, don't lose the grip. Right arm up, chin close to the shoulder. Concentrate one point on the right knee in the front mirror. Make sure right knee's locked and knees come together before we start. Are your right fingers tight? Okay, inhale, charge. Your body forward toward the mirror. Try to touch the mirror in front of you. Simultaneously, kick your left leg back and up toward the ceiling. I want more left knee back. Bring your body down. Try to get your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blade gap is stretching out of your body. In other words, your two shoulders, they're in one line. The kick and the stretch is equal, simultaneous, 50-50. If you lose your balance, the right knee's not locked or you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more, stretch forward more. Go touch the mirror, kick harder. The harder you kick, you balance your forever. Body down, kick up one more time, change, come on up. Perfect, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Let's create some stillness between the postures. Take a deep breath. All right, come to the back of your mat and towel for balancing sticks, Tula Dandasana. Love this posture. It's only 10 seconds long. Please make up your mind before you even start to use 100% strength in half a second. That means the moment you hear my command, step forward. Don't hesitate. If you're late, it's over. Arms over your head, palms together. Interlock all 10 fingers. Release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. Hands and palms are together just like glue. Stretch your arms up toward the ceiling like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Make sure elbows are locked. The biceps are always with your ears. No gap between arms and head. Chin up, please. Body back a couple of inches. Take a deep breath. Big step forward, right foot. Both knees locked, left toes pointed. Body down, leg up. Come down immediately. Arms, body, head, leg parallel to the floor. Make your body a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Charge your body forward toward the mirror. Try to touch the front mirror. Get your left leg up, pointed toes and knee lock. Body down, leg up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch, change. Right foot back, keep your arms up there. Take a deep breath, full lungs. Big step forward, left foot. Both knees locked, right toes pointed. Go, body down, leg up. Come down immediately. Arms, body, head, leg parallel to the floor. Chest down more, chin up. Look at the left foot in the front mirror. Every single muscle is contracted. Whole body stretches in opposite direction like a natural human tug of war. Scapula stretches out of your body and your shoulders are supposed to hurt. Come down, leg up. Stretch, 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 change. Left foot back, arms down. Totally relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Your mouth is closed. This is the fastest and the shortest. Don't hesitate. Second set, arms over the head, palms together. Interlock your 10 fingers. Release your next finger, thumbs crossed. Hands, palms together like glue. Stretch your arms up toward the ceiling like you're trying to test the ceiling. Make sure elbows are locked. Biceps always with the ears. There's no gap between arms and head. Chin up. Body's back a couple of inches. Take a deep breath. Big step forward, right foot. Both knees locked. Left toes pointed. Body down, leg up. Come down immediately. Arms, body, head, leg parallel to the floor. Make your body a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Charge your body forward toward the mirror. Try to touch the front mirror. Get your left leg up. Pointed toes, knee locked. Body down, leg up. Stretch, 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 stretch. Change. 
right foot back. Keep your arms up there. Perfect, Antonio. Take a deep breath, full lungs. Big step forward, left foot. Both knees locked, right toes pointed, body down, leg up. Come down immediately. I want chest down more, chin up, ribs more forward. Look at the left foot in the front mirror. Every muscle contracted, close the grip. Whole body stretching in the opposite direction like a natural human tug of war. Leg up more. Scapula stretches out of your body. Shoulders supposed to hurt. Come down, leg up. Stretch, 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 stretch. Change. Left foot back, arms down. You got a crystal. Totally relax. Just a moment of stillness with a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. We're going to try to do stop, go, stop, go, not a continuous flow. Come to the left side of your mat and towel for standing separate leg stretching. Dandiyamana, Vibhaktapada, Paschimottanasana. Just take it easy in the first set, okay? Try just to take it easy. Did you know taking it easy produces a lot of benefit? Ready? Arms over the head, palms together, step to the right. Four feet distance. At the same time, arms parallel, palms down. Your heels are in line. Feet are slightly pigeon-toed, elbows locked. You let the natural elements of the posture work. Your chin is up. Your stomach is in. Exhale, slowly bend forward. From your lower spine toward the floor. Sometimes too much effort destroys the result. Roll forward. Grab the heels from the outside. Thumb with the index finger. As a beginner, if you can't grab your heels yet, you may grab the outsides of your feet. Now gradually, gently pull your heels, stretch your body down from lower spine toward the floor. Bring the rib cage down towards your mat. Make sure both knees are locked. Roll forward like a wheel, body weights on your toes. Try to touch the forward to the floor. If you're unable, don't worry. Pull harder, open your legs more and more. Your chin is forward, you're looking forward. Are you looking forward or are you looking under? Roll forward, just keep pulling. Eventually your spine is perfectly straight from your coccyx to your neck with your forehead touching the floor between your feet. Keep going, we're not done. First your legs are stretching, then hips are stretching. Lift the quadriceps, lower spine, whole spine stretching. Eventually whole body is stretching. 360 degrees angle stretching inside out. Bone to skin, coccyx to your toes, coccyx to your forehead. Pull more, chin forward, your last chance to touch your forehead to the floor. Change, arms out, inhale, slowly come on up. Step your right foot back to your place, arms over your head, arms down by your side. Common mistake is overusing the arms and underusing the legs. Switch it around, okay? Use the legs more than the arms, they're stronger. Second set, arms over the head, palms together. Step to the right, four feet distance. At the same time, arms parallel, palms down. Heels in line, feet slightly pigeon-toed, elbows locked. Chin up, stomach in, exhale, slowly bend forward. Keep your chin up, looking forward, both knees locked. Come all the way down to grab your heels from the outside, underneath your heel, thumb with your index finger. As a beginner, if you cannot grab your heels yet, grab the outsides of your feet, pull your heels, stretch your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Make sure both knees are locked. Roll forward like a wheel, body weight on your toes. You are trying to touch your forehead to the floor. If you're unable, pull harder. Open up your legs more and more and more. Just keep pulling. Eventually, your spine, it's perfectly straight from your coccyx to your neck with your forehead lightly touching the floor between your feet. But first, legs are stretching, then hips are stretching. Lower spine, whole spine stretching. Eventually, whole body stretching. 360 degrees angle, stretching inside out. Bone to skin, coccyx to toes, coccyx to your forehead. Pull more. Chin forward, last chance to touch your forehead on the floor. Change, arms out, inhale, breathing, slowly come on up. Step your right foot back to your place. Arms up over your head and arms down by your side. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. If you like a quick sip of water before triangle posture, feel free to do so. If not, hold still and breathe. Good news. First set is half dialogue. So we're gonna get nice into the form and then second set, we're gonna get right into the breath and meditation. Ready? This is triangle trikonasana. It's a perfect marriage between your heart and lungs. Arms over the head, palms together. Step to the right. Immediately, arms parallel, palms down. Look straight forward, push your hips forward, lean your upper body back. Please turn your right foot out all the way. Turn your toes a half inch more. Make sure the right foot's exactly parallel to the mirror, two heels in one line. Inhale, bend your right knee and sit down, bounce and bounce, just like a motorcycle ride to make sure you're sitting down low enough. Your right thigh bicep is parallel to the floor and your legs a perfect upside down L like Linda. Stay down there, freeze, don't come up anymore. Please look forward. Again, hips forward, arms back, body back. Chest open, lean back, spine straight in the center. Inhale, move both arms at the same time. Put the right elbow in front of your knee. Bring your right hand down, fingertips in between big toe, second toe. Don't touch the floor. There's no pressure against the floor with your fingertips. Stretch your left arm toward the ceiling. Turn your head to your left. Touch your chin on your left shoulder. Look up at the ceiling. Profile of your face exactly visible to the mirror. Stretch your right arm down and left arm up. In other words, your two arms and shoulders stretch up and down in equal opposite direction, just like a natural human traction. Change, inhale, come on up. Turn the right foot forward. Please look forward when you're setting up the posture. We're not looking left or right, please. Turn the left foot out. Bend your left knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce. Sit down all the way, unless the sun's in your face. Okay, left femur bone parallel to the floor. 
Bring the right hip more forward and down and push your left knee back toward the wall behind you. Arms back, body back. Lean back, freeze. Spine straight in the center. Don't let those hips up anymore. Ready, move both arms at the same time. Put left elbow in front of your knee. Drop the tailbone, fingertips in between big toe, second toe. Don't touch the floor. There's no pressure on the floor with your fingertips or on your knee with your elbow. Stretch your right arm toward the ceiling and turn the head to the right, chin on the right shoulder. Look at the ceiling. You're gonna touch it pretty soon. I should see a big triangle gap between your left thigh, your left arm and your torso. Change, inhale, breathing, come on up. Left foot forward, right foot back to your place, arms over your head, arms down by your side, totally relax. All right, Antonio, when you're in the, um, when you're, you have your fingertips between the big toe and the second toe and you're like in the full expression of the posture, just work on leaning your upper body back, everything looks fantastic. Second set, arms over the head, palms together, step to the right, immediately arms parallel, palms down. Look straight forward, push your hips forward. Here it is, lean your upper body back. Turn your right foot out all the way. Turn your toes half inch more. Make sure right foot's exactly parallel. Two heels are in one line. Inhale, bend your right knee, sit down. Bounce, bounce like a motorcycle ride. So make sure you're sitting down low enough. Sit down lower, Michael. Right thigh bicep is parallel to the floor. Your legs are perfect upside down, L like Linda. Stay down there, freeze, and don't come up anymore. Again, hips forward, arms back, body back, chest open, tailbone down, lean back, spine straight. Inhale, move both arms at the same time. Put the right elbow in front of the knee. Move the hips forward. Bring the right hand down, fingertips between big toe, second toe. Drop the tailbone. Don't touch the floor. No pressure on the floor with the fingertips or on the knee with the elbow. Stretch your left arm toward the ceiling. Lean back, crystal. Turn the head to the left, chin on the left shoulder. Look at the ceiling. Profile of your face, exactly visible to the mirror. You got it, Antonio. Right arm down, left arm up. In other words, your two arms and shoulders stretch up and down in equal opposite direction like a natural human traction. Bring your left hip more forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow. Touch your toes. Turn and twist your upper body to your left like spine twist. Keep your left knee locked. Left foot is flat on the floor. Change. Inhale, come on up. Right foot forward. Turn your left toes out. The upper body is Similar to half moon in this posture, turn the left foot out all the way. Bend your left knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce, sit down all the way. Your left femur bone is parallel to the floor. Bring the right hip more forward and down. Move both hips towards that bent left knee, okay? Arms back, body back, chest open, lean back, spine straight. Move both arms at the same time. Put left elbow in front of the knee. Bring the left hand down. The fingertips are in between the big toe, second toe. Drop the tailbone. Don't touch the floor. There's no pressure on the floor with the fingertips or on the knee with the elbow. Stretch the right arm toward the ceiling and turn the head to the right, chin on the right shoulder. Look at the ceiling. You're going to touch it pretty soon. I should see a big triangle gap between your left thigh, left arm, and torso. Bring the right hip more forward and down. Keep the right shoulder back, crystal. Turn and twist your upper body to the right, like spine twist. Keep the right knee locked and the right foot flat on the floor. Change. Inhale, come on up. Great job. Left foot forward. Our right foot back to your place, arms over your head, arms down by your side. Totally relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Standing separate leg stretching with your forward to your knee. Dandi Mana, Bipaktapada, Janya Sharasana, arms over the head, palms together. Only thumbs are crossed, elbows locked. Don't look sad. Don't look lonely. Stretch your arms up and step to the right. Big step. Three feet minimum distance, 36 inches between your feet. Pick up your toes, turn on your heels. 180 degrees. This is the Best moment of your day. Push your left hip forward one, two, three, four, five times beyond your flexibility. Your two heels in line, hips exactly one line from the side. Your backside foot is 45 degrees angle. Stretch your arms up, exhale, and you go down, front side. Tuck your chin to your chest. Your throat is choked. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead exactly in your right knee. You can bend the knee up a little bit, but your forehead it must touch with your knee. Suck your stomach in. Your throat is choked. Your eyes are open. You're looking at your stomach. Your breathing's normal. Shift your maximum body weight to the right foot. The right hip is sticking up toward the ceiling. Good, Michael. Put maximum pressure on the floor with your fingers. Try to get your knees locked. Stretch your arms forward beyond your toes. Good step, Antonio. Elbow straight. Push your knee back with your forehead. Bring your head closer to your stomach. Lock both knees real quick a couple times. Full lungs. Inhale, come up, please. Arms and head together. Please stop in the middle. Great job, everybody. Turn 185 degrees to your left. Push your right hip forward. One, two, three, four. Keep that long step five times more. Your two heels are in line. Hips exactly in line from the side. Backside foot is 45 degrees angle. Are your palms closed? Stretch your arms up. Exhale and you go down. Front side, tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead exactly on your left knee. You can bend your knee up a little bit. Forehead must touch your knee. Are you an automatic hand splitter? Suck your stomach in. Throat choked. Keep your eyes open. Look at your stomach. Breathe normal. Shift your maximum body weight to your left foot. Maximum pressure is on the floor with your fingers as you try to get your knees locked. Stretch your arms forward beyond your toes, your elbows straight, your wrists are straight, your tongue is inside. Push your knee back with your forehead, bring your head closer to your stomach and lock both knees real quick a couple times. Full lungs, inhale, come up please. Arms and head together. Please stop in the middle, exercise that control, turn to the right, right foot back to your place. Excellent, arms down by your side, totally relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. A good focal point in this posture is the pit of the throat or the belly button. Mind, put it there. Ready? Arms over the head, palms together. Only thumbs crossed, elbows locked. Stretch your arms up toward the ceiling and step to the right. Big step. 
three feet minimum distance, 36 inches. Pick up your toes and turn on your heels, 180 degrees to the right. Push your left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times beyond your flexibility. Your two heels are in line, hips are exactly one line from the side, and the backside foot is 45 degrees angle. Stretch your arms up, exhale, and slowly go down front side. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your exactly forward to your knee. If you're unable, bend your knee up a little bit, challenge yourself, forehead must touch your knee. Suck your stomach in, throat choked. Upper inner thighs tight, push the feet down, eyes open, breathing normal. Shift your maximum body with your right foot, the right hip is sticking up toward the ceiling. Put maximum pressure on the floor with your fingertips. Where's your focal point? Try to get your knees locked. Stretch your arms forward beyond your toes, your elbows straight. Push your knee back with your forehead, bring your head closer to your stomach, lock both knees really quick couple times. Full lungs, inhale, come up please. Arms and head together, please stop in the middle. Turn 185 degrees to your left. Push your right hip forward. One, two, three, four, five times more. Two heels in line. Hips exactly one line from the side. You can twist a little bit to the left. Backside foot 45 degrees angle. Stretch your arms up and exhale. Go down front side. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Touch exactly forward to the knee. If you're unable, bend your knee up a little bit. Forehead must touch with your knee. Suck your stomach in. Throat choked. Eyes open. Look at your stomach. Breathe normal. Maximum body weight to the left foot. To bring your left hip up toward the ceiling to get your two hips in one line. Put maximum pressure on the floor with your fingers. Try to get your knees locked. Stretch your arm forward beyond your toes, your elbows straight. Now push your knee back with your forehead. Bring your head closer to your stomach. Lock both knees really quick couple times. Full lungs, inhale, come up. Arms, head stay together. Please stop in the middle. Take a deep breath, turn right. Right foot back to your place and arms down by your side. Totally relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose, mouth closed. Come to the middle of the mat in the towel where we began for tree pose and toe stand. Tadasana with Padangustasana. We start with Tadasana tree pose. Please pick up your right foot from underneath with your left hand. Pull your heel all the way up as high as possible. Heel touches your costume, sole of your foot is facing the ceiling. Please be careful with your knee. Slowly, gently let your knee come down. Push your hips forward at the same time. Push your right knee back. Two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line, opening hips and pelvis. Same principles as triangle posture. Ribs are stretching up out of the waist. Bring the right hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance there, left hand meets your right. Palms together, namaskar. Beautiful. If your foot is slipping, continue to hold your foot with your hand. Just keep your left leg locked, thigh contracted. Spine is straight, eyes open. Breathing normal, stay there. Wonderful, shlomo. Change, right foot down. Whoop, whoop. Relax. Lock the right knee. Pick up your left foot from underneath with your right hand. Pull your heel all the way up as high as possible. Heels touching your costume. Sole of your foot is facing the ceiling. Be careful with your knee. Slowly, gently, your knee comes down. Push your hips forward at the same time. Push your left knee back. Two hips are in one line, two shoulders in one line. Opening your hips and pelvis. Same principles as triangle posture. Upper body leaning back. Bring left hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance there, bring right hand to meet your left. Palm together, namaskar. If your foot slips, please hold your foot with your hand. Good amber. Keep the right knee locked, thigh contracted. Spine is straight. You got to look forward. Don't look down. Eyes open, breathing normal. Makes a difference. Change. Left foot down. I often am looking at the camera at this one and I'm looking down accidentally. All right, this is one where you look down. This is toe stand. If you have trouble with your knee, do a second set of tree. Ready? Toe stand, padangustasana. Eyes one spot on the floor, four feet in front of you. Concentrate and meditate. Don't move your eyes. Don't even blink them. Pick up the right foot and bring it above the left knee. Anywhere is comfortable, not slipping. Both hands together in front of your chest. Full namaskar. Stomach sucked in. Exhale, bend forward from your lower spine toward the floor. Touch your both hands, 10 fingers on the floor. Then only slowly bend your left knee. Sit down on your heel. Walk your hand to either side of your body. Stretch your spine up toward the ceiling. Hips up, balance on your fingertips. Push your right knee down. Point your right toe. Two knees parallel to the floor. Keep your eyes one spot on the floor, four feet in front of you. Concentrate and meditate. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance here without moving, right hand meets your left palm together in a mascar. Stretch your spine toward the ceiling like natural human traction. Stomach in, balance there. Change. Come up the exact opposite way that you came in. Fantastic, Esther. Tree pose release, right foot down. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. A good thing about waiting for the hands to the command is so that you don't have to do it too long. Okay, eyes are on the floor, forward in front of you. Sometimes the longer you're in certain postures, the more they deteriorate. Pick up your left foot and bring it above the right knee anywhere it's comfortable and not slipping. So waiting is also going to help you execute. Both hands together in front of your chest, full namaskar. Stomach in, exhale, slowly bend forward from your lower spine toward the floor. Touch your both hands, 10 fingers on the floor. Then only slowly bend your right knee and sit down on your heel. Walk your hand to either side of your body. Stretch your spine up toward the ceiling, hips up, balancing on your fingertips. Push your left knee down and point your left toe, two knees parallel to the floor. Keep your eyes one spot on the floor, four feet in front of you, concentrate and meditate. Slowly bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance there, right hand meets your left, palms together, namaskar. Stretch your spine up toward the ceiling like natural human traction, stomach is in, balance there. Change, fantastic. Come up, exact opposite way you came in. Tree pose, release your left foot down. Thank you for a fantastic standing series. Turn around, relax on your back, Savasana.
Just relax and take it as it comes. Relax your eyes. Try not to wiggle. Let your body just rest. Remember that you get the benefits of the postures through the Savasana from here on out. The posture is complete when the Savasana is finished. Rest is supremely important. If something comes up from here on out and you need a little extra rest, Feel free to give it to yourself. You start the floor series with Pavana Muktasana, wind removing pose. Lift your right leg up, please interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right leg exactly two inches below your knee. Grip tight, slowly pull your right knee down all the way toward the right shoulder. Right knee more to the right, please. Completely avoid your rib cage. Please keep your left leg straight. Your left calf is on the floor. If it's not, flex your foot. Chin down to your chest, looking good. Neck flat on the floor, nice and long. Shoulders relaxed, eyes always open. Pull your knee down and freeze there. Don't move. Now pull down a little extra harder until your hip hurts. Maximum pressure to your lower abdomen. Be still, you can't even blink your eyes. Change, right leg down, arms come down. Left leg up, interlock your 10 fingers. Grab your left leg exactly two inches below your knee. Grip tight, slowly pull your left knee down all the way towards your left shoulder. More to the left, completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your right leg straight, your right calf's on the floor. You gotta keep the right shoulder on the mat though. If the right calf isn't touching, flex the foot. Tuck the chin to the chest, good, look down the body. Can you bring the lower back on the right side of your body on your mat? Shoulders relax, touching the floor, elbows close to your body. Good, pull your knee down, freeze there, eyes open. Breathe normal, pull down a little extra harder, just hold it, maximum pressure to your lower abdomen. Be still, don't move, you can't even blink your eyes. Change, left foot down, arms come down. Immediately, both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other, a couple of inches below your knees if possible. If you can't grab the elbows, you can get your forearms, your wrists, your fingers, or a hand on the knee. Tuck your chin to your chest, look down your body. Neck is long, shoulders relaxed, and eyes are open. Breathing always normal, absolutely free. Stomach in nice and tight. Maximum pressure to the lower abdomen. Eventually in the future, once you improve your skeletal system, your bone joints enough, your total spine is flat on the floor, coccyx to your neck. Keep your eyes open, breathing normal. Change, arms and legs down, totally relax. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Maintain that stillness. The true form of Savasana is stillness. Everything comes through the stillness. We are learning to be calmly active and actively calm. There's a dance between activity and inactivity, spirit and nature. Second set, right leg lifts up. Please interlock your 10 fingers. Grab your right leg exactly two inches below your right knee. Grip it tight. Slowly pull your right knee down all the way toward your right shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Please keep your left leg straight. Your left calf, it's on the floor. If it's not touching, flex your foot. Tuck your chin into your chest. Look down your body. Neck is flat on the floor. No gap underneath. Shoulders relaxed. Touching the floor. Elbows close to your body. Pull your knee down. Freeze there. Eyes open. Breathe normal. Pull down a little extra harder. Make sure your hip hurts. Maximum pressure in your lower abdomen massages your ascending colon. Eyes open. Breathing is normal. 
change. Right leg down, arms come down, left leg lifts up. Interlock your 10 fingers, grab your left leg exactly two inches below your knee, grip tight. Slowly pull your left knee down all the way towards your left shoulder, completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your right leg straight, right calf on the floor. If it's not touching, flex your right foot. Chin down to your chest, look down your body. Neck flat on the floor, no gap in your knees. Shoulders relaxed, touching the floor. Elbows close to your body, pull your knee down, freeze there. Eyes open. Breathe normal. Pull down extra harder. Maximum pressure to lower abdomen. Massage the descending colon. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Change. Left foot down. Arms come down. Immediately. Both legs lift up. Grab your opposite elbow. Each other. A couple of inches below your knees if possible. Make yourself nice, tight, compact. Feet together. Side by side. Relaxed position. Tuck your chin to your chest. Make your neck nice and long. Relax your shoulders. Eyes always open. Breathing normal. Start to suck your stomach in and press your lower spine into the mat. Maximum pressure to your lower abdomen. Gently massage your transverse colon. Keep your eyes open and your breathing normal. Change. Arms and legs down by your side. Totally relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Next is sit up, feet together, feet flexed, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels stay down, inhale, quickly, sit up, exhale, double jerk, touch your forward to your knees and elbows to the floor. Please turn around and lie down on your stomachs to start the spine strengthening series with Bhujangasana Cobra Pose. Remember to continue to move slow, nothing too shocking or fast in the development of these postures. We're gonna start with Cobra. Bring your chin forward, hands palms underneath your shoulders, very close to your chest. Keep your five fingers together, palms flat on the floor. Your fingertips should be in line with the top of your shoulders and baby fingers in line with your deltoid. Glue it down, distribute your body weight all over your hands, palms equal the same. Don't move your hands. Start to finish throughout the entire posture. Heels and feet together, top the feet are flat on the floor. You only have one leg like a cobra, don't open it. Hips and leg muscles are solid concrete one piece. Relax your shoulders, elbows close to your body. Take a deep breath. Look up and come up, please. Lift your upper body up using 100% back strength. Come up halfway only. Palms are down, please. Belly button on the floor. The rest of your upper body up in the air. Heels together, Miss Bonner. At the same time from the side, your elbows should be an L. 90 degrees angle like a rectangle. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips so arms and elbows are always touching your body. Drop your shoulders down. Trapezius muscles visible in the mirror. Look up. Go up. Come up a little bit more. and Freeze there. Don't move. Your back, it's supposed to hurt. Gently come down. Slowly, put your left ear on the mat, look to the right, eyes on the towel, totally relax, Savasana. This posture is odd because you can use the hands, but something happens when you start using your hands all the time, you start relying on the hands. Also, never take the hands off the mat. So what you're learning here is how to regulate the force of the posture without lifting the hands or pushing the hands. Yes, you can push the hands a little bit, but as you're in the posture, try to let your back do most of the work. The tighter you make the lower body, like the glutes, the quadriceps, the heels, the ankles, the easier that will be. Second set, chin forward, hands, palms underneath your shoulders, close to your chest, five fingers together, palms flat on the floor. Fingertips in line with the top of your shoulders, baby fingers in line with your deltoid, glue it down. Distribute your body weight all over your hands, palms equal the same. Don't move your hands. Start to finish throughout the posture, heels and feet together. Top of your feet are flat on the floor. You only have one leg like a cobra. Don't open it. Hips and leg muscles solid, concrete one piece. Elbows close to your body, relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath, look up and come up please. Lift your upper body up using 100% back strength. Come up halfway only, your belly button on the floor. Eyes up, rest of your upper body up in the air. At the same time from the side, your elbows should be an L. 90 degrees angle like a rectangle. Keep going, you got it, Melanie. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips. Arms and elbows should always touch your body. Heels together, slow mo, drop your shoulders down. Trapezius muscles visible in the front mirror. Look up, go up. Come up a little bit more, Karen. Freeze there, don't move. Your back, it's supposed to hurt. Gently come down. Put your right on your mat, look to your left. Eyes on your towel, beautiful work. Totally relaxed, Savasana. Locus, Salabhasana, arms straight position underneath your body, palms face down. 
Elbows completely underneath your stomach, invisible. Elbows are supposed to hurt. Fingertips completely apart. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Only your pinky should touch side by side. Bring your chin forward. One day your neck is flat on the floor. Your left leg is completely relaxed. Right leg solid concrete, pointed toes. Slowly, gently, right leg lifts up from the floor. Minimum 45 degrees angle, that's half a 90. Your right leg lifts up much more higher. Everybody point the toe, lock the knee. Make sure that your back and your elbow hurt. Leg up, lift up, more up, change. Right leg lowers down, relax the right leg. Left leg is solid concrete pointed toes slowly gently left leg lifts up from the floor minimum 45 degrees angle that's half a 90 your left leg lifts up much more higher point your toe lock your knee make sure that your back and your elbow hurt leg up lift up change left leg lowers down these look good put your mouth on your towel readjust your hand and your palm get your elbows even closer together underneath your stomach keep your mouth down remember you've got to commit to the pain and the discomfort, and also to the palms and the elbows and the wrist. Heels are together. Take a deep breath, full lungs, both legs lift up. Without bending your knees, shift your maximum body weight into your shoulders. Press your palms into the floor. Take a deep breath, full lungs. Struggle harder, but don't give up. Legs up, lift up, more up. Slowly, gently lower your legs down. Release your arms. Come underneath your body. Left ear on the mat, look to the right. That first set looked like the second set. Beautiful job. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Remember that this posture is so easy. Oftentimes, the part where the brain goes is not where we're supposed to be using our effort. Your brain is always going to be thinking about using the legs, and it's going to make you try to forget about the arms. It's the opposite, dude. You've got to think about the arms and the palms while you operate the legs. Second set, arm straight position underneath the body, palms face down. Get your elbows completely underneath your stomach invisible. Your elbows, they're supposed to hurt because you're using the arms. Spread the fingertips apart. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Only pinkies touch side by side. Chin is forward. One day, neck flat on the floor. Left leg completely relaxed. Only 10 seconds. Right leg solid, concrete pointed toes. Slowly, gently, right leg lifts up from the floor. One, two, use the arms. Three, four, leg up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Change, relax the right leg down. Don't forget to point your toe. Ready, left leg, solid, concrete, pointed toes. Left leg lifts up from the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Change. That was beautiful, Crystal. Put your mouth on your towel. Readjust your hands, palms. 10 seconds of using the arms as much as possible. The wrists, the palms, everything. Mouth is down. Heels are together. Don't hold your breath. Deep breath, full lungs. Both legs lift up from the floor. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Change, slowly lower your legs down. You've got it, release your arms, right edge in your mat. Look to your left, eyes in your towel, totally relax. Purnasalabhasana, full locust. Bring your chin forward, arms out to your side like airplane wings, all five fingers together, palm face down, your legs and your feet are together. Take it easy on the first set. Please use your 80-20 breathing, okay? Your hips and leg muscles are solid, concrete pointed toes. And remember, eyes are always upward. Take a deep breath, look up, arms, body, head, legs, everything. Lifts up like a 747 taken off. Arms up, now back. Fingertips to the level of the top of the head. Only hip bones should touch the floor. Arms back, crystal. Rest of your upper body up in the air. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Legs up, body up, look up, go up. Way up, more up. Exhale, come up one more time. Change, slowly lower down. Really nice, Miss Bonner. Left ear on the mat, look to the right, eyes on the towel, totally relax. Keep your attention inward. Remember that when we're doing these postures and these, this yoga, the mind is always going to try to go outward. Like, how does a posture look? How do I look? How deep did I go? How perfect was it? Your job is to keep the attention inward. The more you practice keeping this attention inward, you're going to find so much more happiness because that's actually where it all is. Tricky, tricky. So keep the attention inward. You'll have an easier time operating the body, maintaining the breath, and executing your best. 
Second set, chin forward, arms out to your side like airplane wings. All five fingers together, palm face down. Legs and feet are together. Hip and leg muscles, solid concrete pointed toes. You've only got one leg and your fingers are super tight. Take a deep breath, look up, arms, body, head, legs. Everything lifts up like a 747 taking off. That's it, arms up. Now back, fingertips to the level top of the head, chin out, only hip bones on the floor. Rest of your upper body up in the air, chest up, chest up, chest up, legs up, body up, look up, go up, way up, more up, exhale, come up one more time, change, slowly come down. Right is on the mat, look to the left, eyes on the towel, totally relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Bow post on your asana. Bring your chin forward and hold your feet from the outside exactly two inches below your toes. Keep your five fingers together and make sure thumbs touch with your index finger. Instead of grabbing the ankles, grab right below the toe crease and bring the inner thighs together. Your toes are pointed, your wrists are straight. Eventually, your legs look like two wheels with one base. Now take a deep breath, look up and slowly, gently kick your both legs up. Point your toes and keep your wrists straight. Kick continuously. Do not stop kicking. Knees more in. Roll forward like a wheel. Toes over the center from the side. Head up. Toes are pointed, wrists straight. Kick your legs back more. Kick Kick harder, head up more, kick up one more time, change, slowly lower down. Left ears on the mat, look to the right, eyes on the towel. One of the most challenging parts here for people is to get the knees in. Good thing to do is to start with the inner thighs together so that as you apply the kick, the natural spread of the legs is going to take your knees out of six inches apart. Remember that your shoulders are probably about 12, 14 inches apart. I think mine are 13 inches apart. So you're trying to keep your knees at least inside your shoulders and then even closer from there. That's a good relative guide to how well you're getting those knees in. So use the inner thighs. And as a Bikram yoga practitioner, the inner thighs are very weak. Second set, chin forward, hold the feet from the outside exactly two inches below your toes. All five fingers together, make sure thumbs touch with your index finger. Six inches apart inside your legs, between your knees and your feet. Inner thighs together, knees together, toes pointed, wrist straight. Last rib stays down. Eventually, your legs look like two wheels with one base. Now take a deep breath, look up, slowly, gently kick both legs up. Point your toes, keep your wrist straight. Kick continuously. Good Amber, don't stop kicking. You've got it. Roll forward like a wheel. Toes over the center from the side. Press that last rib down. Point your toes and keep your wrist straight. Get your legs back more. Head up more. Kick harder. Kick up one more time. Change. Slowly lower down. Put your right on your mat. Look to your left. Eyes on your towel. Take a deep breath. You're doing wonderful. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Remember that your breath, your prana, isn't just oxygen and carbon dioxide. It is the substance of everything, the inside, the inner mechanism of everything in the world, all of your cells, everything out in the world, outer space, everything is directed by prana. It is power, it is energy, it's life force. Put your hands, palms on your mat, push up. Come to the top of the mat and towel for Supta Vajrasana, fix firm. Kneeling down position, Japanese style. Separate your feet, sit between your heels. Hips on the floor, heels next to your hips. There's no gap between your hip or heel. If at any time your knees or feet hurt, please open your knees. Hands on your toes, thumbs inside, fingers pointing toward the front mirror. First and only right elbow down and left elbow down. One at a time. Top of the head, back of your head, whole upper body relax on the floor. Get your arms over your head, grab your elbows each other over your head, start to pull your elbows down toward the floor. Bring your chin down to your chest, look down your body, neck flat on the floor. Now shoulders relax on your mat, chest and stomach lift toward the ceiling to create a perfect human bridge. Eventually bring your knees together, but don't let your knees come off the floor. Keep your eyes open. Breathing is always normal change. Hands on your feet, please. Help yourself up with your elbows. Gently turn around and relax on your back in Savasana. Totally relax.
Second set, feet together if you flex, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels down, inhale quickly, sit up, exhale, double jerk. Touch your forehead on your knees and elbows to the floor. Okay, guys, turn around and come to the top of the mat for a second set. Compression to the knees and the ankles, stretching diaphragm and spleen, fix firm. Kneeling down position, separate your feet, sit between your heels, hips on the floor, heels next to the hips. No gap between hips and heels. Hands on the toes, thumb inside, fingers pointing toward the front mirror, first and only, right elbow down, the left elbow down, one at a time, top of your head, back of your head, Hold up your body, relax on the floor. Bring the arms over the head. Grab the opposite elbow, each other over your head. Pull your elbows down toward the floor. Bring your chin down to your chest. Back of your neck is flat on the floor. Shoulders relaxed on the mat. Chest and stomach lift toward the ceiling. If you're able, walk your shoulders towards your hips to get your chest and stomach to lift up higher toward the ceiling, accentuating and increasing your medical benefits, stretching your diaphragm and spleen. Eventually, bring your knees together, but don't let your knees off the floor. Keep your eyes open and breathing normal. Change. Hands on your feet, please. Help yourself up with your elbows. Turn around, please. Relax on your back in Savasana. Totally relax, breathing normal, holding still. Half tortoise, feet together, feet flex, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels down, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, double jerk, touch your forehead to your knees, elbows to the floor, please turn around and come to the back of your mat, kneeling down position, Japanese style, hips on your heels, no gaps underneath your ankles, hips stay with your heel throughout the entire posture, arms over the head, palms together, only thumbs crossed, elbows locked, stretch your arms up toward the ceiling, tailbone under, biceps always with your ears, Chin up and slowly you go down front side. Touch your forehead to the floor. Little pinky fingers touch the floor next. Get that head down. Rest of your arms up in there, elbows locked. Get those wrists up. Stretch your arms forward. Bring your chin away from your chest. Make sure shoulders hurt. You should feel shoulders, deltoid, scapula stretching out of your body. Stretch your arms forward. Get the head down more. Chin forward. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stomach in. Inhale. Come up. Arms and head together. Exhale. Arms down. Turn around. Relax on your back. Savasana. You never know what posture is gonna give you the maximum relief. It doesn't have to be the fanciest, most technically savvy looking contorted posture. Sometimes it's the most simplest action that gives you that de-stress, that physical relief, that mental relief. Second set, feet together, feet flex, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels are down, inhale. Quickly sit up, exhale, double jerk. Touch your four knees and elbows to the floor. Turn around, please, come to the back of the mat for a second set, Ardha Kumasana. Kneel down position, Japanese style. Hips on your heels, there's no gap underneath your ankles. Hips stay with your heel throughout the posture. Arms over the head, palms together, only thumbs crossed, elbows locked. Inner thighs are tight, tailbone is under and chin is up, palms are closed. Exhale and you go down, front side. Touch your forehead to the floor, little pinky fingers on the floor next. Press the head down, rest the arms up in the air, lift the wrist up, elbows locked. Suck the stomach in, stretch your arms forward, chin away from your chest, tailbone toward the back wall. Make sure shoulders deltoid scapula stretching out of your body. Stretch your arms forward, chin forward, eyes open, breathing normal. Stretch, 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 stomach in, inhale, come up, arms head together, please. Exhale, arms down, turn around, relax in your back, Savasana, totally relaxed. Next is Kamo Ustrasana, first set, feet together, feet flex, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels down, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, double jerk, touch your four to your knees and elbows to the floor. Please turn around and come to the top of your mat, stand on your knees, only six inches apart inside your legs, between your knees and your feet. 
Place your hands on your hips, thumbs outside and fingertips are pointing down, elbows closer together. Lift your ribs, take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back as far as it goes, lean back halfway. Please stop in the middle, take another deep breath. First only, right hand down, grab your right heel, thumb outside, fingers inside. Left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingertips inside. Get the full palm grip on your heels, please don't lose the grip. Take a deep breath, push your stomach, legs, hips, push your ankles down, push everything forward toward the front mirror, push more. Harder, make your back hurt, chest up. I want a 360 degrees angle, back bend against gravitation. Push, push, change. Beautiful, right hand to the hip, left hand to the hip. Come up please, spine straight in the center. You got it, sit down, turn around, relax in your back. If you feel a slight headache, that's normal, maybe dizzy, lightheaded, nauseous, laughing, crying, it's all part of it, relax in your back. Second set, feet together, feet flex, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels down, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, double jerk. Touch your four to your knees, elbows to the floor. This time, as you turn around and come to the top of the mat, go ahead and open up your knees a little bit wider, maybe eight or 10 inches apart, but just keep the feet the same six inches gap. Hands back to the hips, same position, thumbs outside, fingertips pointing down. Ribs up, take a deep breath, full lungs and drop your head back as far as it goes. Lean back halfway, please stop in the middle. Take a deep breath first only, right hand down, grab your right heel. Thumb outside, fingertips inside. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingertips inside. Get the full palm grip under your heel. Please don't lose your grip, take a deep breath. Push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward toward the front mirror. Push more, ankles down, push harder, inner thighs forward. Make your back hurt, chest up. I want a 360 degrees angle, back bend against gravitation. Elbows closer together, push, push, change. Right hand hip, left hand hip. Slowly come up please. Spine straight in the center, sit down, turn around, relax on your back, Savasana. Isn't this wonderful? You're doing a, such a wonderful job. Let your body settle down. Okay, rabbit, feet together, feet flex. Arms up, thumbs crossed, heels down, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, double jerk, touch your forehead to your knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around please and come to the middle of your mat and towel, kneeling down position Japanese style. Get your towel over your feet and grab your heels over your towel. Thumbs are outside, fingertips are inside. Nice tight grip, please. Don't lose the grip. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach. Pull your heels as hard as possible, exhale and go down front side. Touch your forehead to your knees. Automatically, the top of your head's on the floor, eyes open, exhale breathing, and lift your hips all the way up as high as possible. Roll forward like a wheel until arms and elbows become straight. Now, if there's a gap between your forehead and your knees, walk your knees up one by one until your knees touch your forehead, lift your hips up. Total spine stretches from the top to the bottom. Neck might hurt a little bit, throat choked, eyes open. Breathe normal, pull harder, hips up one more time. Change, slowly come on up. Oh, so good, Shlomo. Turn around, relax in your back, Savasana. Great form, buddy. Turn around, relax in your back. No pressure in the head, elbows locked, forward to the knee, everything you want. Relax on your back. Rapid posture is not glamorous, but you know, now, every time someone asks me for a yoga photo, <laughs> I send them my rabbit posture.
It's a very personal posture. Only you know if you're doing it right. Only you know if you're jamming your head into the floor. I mean, I can see it. It's just like toe stand or it's just like uh, the third part of awkward, you know, only you know if you're lifting. So let's do it again. Feet together, feet flex, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels are down. Inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, double jerk, touch your forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Integrity, turn around and come to the middle of the mat, kneel down position Japanese style. Bring your towel over your feet, grab your heels over your towel, thumbs outside, fingertips inside. A nice tight grip, do not lose the grip. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, pull your heels as hard as possible, exhale, go down front side. Touch your forward to your knees, automatically the top of your head's on the floor. With eyes open, exhale and lift your hips all the way up as high as possible. Roll forward just like a wheel until arms, elbows become straight. If there's a gap between the forward and your knees, I can see it. Walk your knees up one by one until your knees touch your forehead. Lift your hips up, total spine is stretchy from top to bottom. Stretch your heels backward. Your neck might hurt a little bit, throat choked. Eyes open, breathing normal, stomach in, pull harder. Hips up, one more time, change. Nice, Michelle, slowly come up. Beautiful. One vertebra at a time. Turn around, relax in your back. Savasana. Totally relax. Let the body settle down and let the mind jump around. All right, head to knee with stretching. Feet together, feet flex, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels stay down, inhale. Quickly sit up, exhale, double jerk, touch your forward to your knees and elbows to the floor. Turn around, sit facing the front mirror. Extend the right leg out corner wise, bend your left leg, heel to your costume. Create pressure from your left foot sole against your right leg bicep of your thigh muscle. Your two legs should be a 90 degrees angled like an L. Arms up, turn right, grab your foot, two inches below your toes, 10 fingers interlock position. Tuck your chin, look at your stomach, touch your exactly forward to your knee. You may bend your knee up a little bit, forehead must touch your knee, heel out. Flex your foot, try to get your heel off the floor. Left elbow down, left shoulder down more. Left knee stays on the floor. Roll inside to your left, roll in, roll in. Stomach in, elbows down, next to your calf. Push your knee down, forward touching position. Head closer with your stomach, right knee locked. Heel off the floor, push your knee down, change. Left leg out, bend the right leg, heel to your costume. Create pressure from right foot against left thigh bicep. Your two legs should be 90 degrees angle like an L. Arms up, turn left, grab your foot, two inches below your toes, 10 fingers interlock position. Tuck your chin, look at your stomach, forehead exactly on your left knee. If you're unable, bend your knee up a little bit. Forehead must touch your knee, heel out, flex your foot. Try to get your heel off the floor. Right elbow down, right shoulder down more, right knee stays on the floor. Roll inside to the right, roll in, roll in. Stomach in, elbows down. Next to your calf, push your knee down, forward touching position. Head closer with your stomach, left knee locked. Heel off the floor, push your knee down, change. Both legs out in front of you. Lie down on your back, look out. Immediately sit back up. Exhale, double jerk. Grab your big toes from the top. Use your middle and index finger, peace sign fingers in between big and second toe. Walk your hips back right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left, 10, 15 times. Get your head up, please. Look in the mirror. Feet together, pull your toes, lock both knees until heels come off the floor in the air, absolutely no knees. Then only slowly bend your elbows down next to the calf. Keep your head up. You can bring the chin slightly in. Stretch your body forward from your lower spine toward the toes. Ribs outward. Your goal one day is to touch your forward to your toes with your knees locked and your heels in the air. Pull, come down more, stretch, 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 change. Come on up, turn around, relax in your back. All right, so when we're doing this uh, Pashimottanasana stretching, go ahead and bring the chin in so that the neck is flat, so there's no wrinkles in the neck. You're gonna bring the chin in and try to get that straight spine head down. Kind of like, you know, just folding at the hips. <clears throat> Getting the head in the right position in that uh, Pashimottanasana is gonna help you come down. A lot of us have a major block on that, bringing the body down in that way. So that it's like a really transformative piece is just getting the head and the neck straight and also getting the head closer to the feet. So much, we're pulling so much, we're creating so much tension in the neck and shoulders that the neck gets like bent and stuck. We're trying to lengthen and come down from mostly the torso and the head. Second set, feet together, feet flex, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels stay down, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, double jerk, touch your forward to your knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around for a 
Second set, extend the right leg out corner wise, bend your left leg. So you're gonna grab just at the ball of your foot. And when you're bending the elbows down, start to tilt the wrist down. This will help you get your elbows down. Arms up, turn right, grab your foot, two inches below your toes. Not at the arch, okay? 10 fingers interlocked. Tuck your chin, look at your stomach, forward to the right knee. You can bend the knee up, forehead must touch your knee. Bend those wrists down, heel out, flex the foot. Try to get the heel off the floor. Left elbow down, left shoulder down more. Oh, so good, Amber. Left knee stays on the floor, roll inside to your left, roll it in. Stomach in, elbows down next to your calf. Push your knee down, forward touching position. Did you touch the floor? Bring the head close to the stomach, right knee locked, heel off the floor. Push your knee down, change. Fantastic, left leg out, bend the right leg. Heel to the costume. No gap between heel and costume. Arms up, turn left, grab your foot. Two inches, pull your toes. Not too low. Ten fingers interlock. Tuck your chin. Look at your stomach, forehead to your left knee. You may bend your knee up. Forehead must touch your knee. Heel out, flex the foot. Bend the wrist down. Try to get the heel off the floor. Right elbow down, right shoulder down more. Keep those elbows in. They should touch the calf. Push your knee down, forehead touching position. Elbows in. Bring your head closer to your stomach. Left knee locked. Heel off the floor. Push your knee down. Change. Wonderful. Both legs out in front of you. Bravo. Lie down on your back. Immediately sit back up. Exhale, double jerk. Grab your big toes from the top. Use your middle and your index finger, peace sign fingers between big and second toe. Walk your hips back, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So sometimes people say bite the toes. That sounds kind of gross, but that's how far, that's how close the head is coming to the feet. Walk your hips back, right, left, right, left, right, left. If you need a little added insurance, pull the junk up out of the trunk. Make sure your feet are together. There's no room for light behind the knees and the floor. Pull the toes and lock both knees until your heels come off the floor in the air. Absolutely no knees. Then only slowly bend your elbows down, bring the chin slightly in, bring the sternum down and body forward. Stretch your body forward. Bring the thighs backward from lower spine toward the toes. Stretch. Your goal one day is to touch your forward to your toes. Maintain. Knees locked. Heels in the air. Pull. Come forward more. Stretch. 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 Change. Come on up. So good. Turn around. Relax in your back. Savasana. When you start cracking your back in Paschimottanasana, you've arrived. So in the spine twist, we need to lean back just like in triangle posture. Leaning back in spine twist is pretty much equivalent to uh, straightening your spine. This, the tricky part is when most people lean back, the chin flies into the air. So while you lean the torso back, you want to keep the chin level. This is spine twist, feet together, feet flex, arms up, cross your thumbs, heels down, inhale, quickly sit up, exhale, double jerk, touch your forward, two knees, elbows to the floor. Turn to the left, bend your left knee on the floor, left knee cap is facing the left side of the space, bring the right foot over the left knee corner, H-E-E-L, heel should touch your knee, foot flat on the floor, both hips are on the floor comfortably, spine is perpendicular, 90 degrees angle, heel touches your hip, left toe pointed, bring your left arm up over your right knee, elbow exactly against your knee, turn your wrist, grab your left knee with your left hand. You can start to lean back now, look down at your knee, make sure knee, hand, heel, all three parts are together, keep your knee on the floor, right arm behind you, palm face down, grab your left inner thigh with your fingertips. As a beginner, right palms on the floor, fingers face out. Out, push down to get your spine straight. Chest up, spine up, rib cage open. Slowly turn, twist your body to the right. Bring your chin over the right shoulder. Look way, way, way back. Lean back, chin down. Turn your whole body to the right side. Cock to your neck. Joints of each and every single vertebra and cartilage. Good, Karen. Supposed to twist like a pearl necklace. Right arm behind you, palm face down. Grab your left inner thigh with your fingertips. You got to use the eyeballs. Turn more, twist, twist, twist. Last chance to twist, change. Switch your legs. The eyes are your game changer. Bend the right knee on the floor. Right knee cap is facing. Uh, the front of your space, bring the left foot over the right knee corner, heel should touch your knee, foot flat on the floor. Both hips are on the floor comfortably, spine perpendicular, 90 degrees angle, heel touching your hip, right toe pointed, right arm up over the left knee, elbow exactly against the knee, turn your wrist, grab your right knee with your right hand. Start to lean back now, now look down at the right knee, make sure knee, hand, heel, all three parts are together. Good, Michelle, keep your knee on the floor. Left arm behind you, palm face down, grab your right inner thigh with your fingertips as a beginner, left palm on the floor, the fingers face out, push down to get your spine straight, chest up, spine up, rib cage open, slowly turn, twist your body to your left. Use the eyeballs, chin over the left shoulder. Look, way, way, way back. Turn your whole body to your left side. Cross your eyes. Turn your whole body to the left side. Coxes the neck. Joints of each and every single vertebra and cartilage are supposed to twist like a pearl necklace. Left arm behind you, palm face down. Grab the right inner thigh with your fingertips. Turn more. Twist, twist. Last chance to twist, change. Turn around, relax in your back, Savasana. Wonderful job. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose.
You start a class with pranayama breathing. Deep breathing is good for your lungs and respiratory system. You end class with kapalabhati. The final breathing is good for your digestive system, internal organs, even your abdominal muscles. Feet together, feet flex, arms up, thumbs crossed, heels are down. Inhale, quickly sit up. Exhale, double jerk. Touch your four to your knees and elbows to the floor. Please turn around and kneel down position Japanese style in the center of your mat. Kapalabhati and Vajrasana, blowing in firm position. Five fingers together, palms on your knees, elbows locked, abdominal wall completely relaxed. Create a forceful exhalation out of your lips. Inhale happens automatic. There's no inhale. Each time you exhale, pull your belly in and out to the rhythm of my clap. If you feel dizzy, lightheaded, nauseous, cramps in your obliques of your abdominal muscles, you're doing good. Open up your mouth, start to exhale. Halfway. Change. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times. Keep the fingers tight, please, and elbows locked. Remember, we're not using the teeth or the tongue, but you can purse your lips. Ready? Open up your mouth, start again. All right, thank you everybody. Please turn around and relax in your back. Savasana, it's 11.30. Thank you all for coming. Feel free to open up your arms and legs a little bit wider. Totally relax. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Namaste.